What's up my dudes, my name is Headphone Mage. Welcome, finally, to my Seaside boss tutorial. First off, this boy's name is actually ridiculous to say and quite frankly even look at. So from here on, I'll be referring to him as Octo Boy just to make it easier for the both of us, okay? Cool. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to fight our good friend Octoboy. He can be a bit of a pain to fight, but once you've got the basic movement down, he's actually quite easy. Let's just get on with it so I don't have to spend too much time finding footage to put over this commentary. Uh -huh. So first off, if you're doing world peace at least, you're going to be on this hill here. Once you've gotten the switch, buffer a spin jump and roll off the hill. Grab the gushin and make your way towards the Octoboy. Once you've made it to about these snails, start your ascent and start attacking the lava off his head. Once you've done the first cycle, immediately fly to towards these floating platforms. You're gonna fall down, but that's fine as you're just gonna run out of water. But as soon as you hit the water, you're gonna continue moving towards these platforms as you'll still be ahead of him. Aim for about the middle one and swim straight up. If you're in the right position and you are quick enough, he should start taking damage as soon as he comes within your attack. Now that the second cycle is completed, this is where you need to slow down for a little bit. I like to just fall after attacking him, then swim in this direction, making sure to swim as close to the lighthouse as possible. In order for the Octoboy to continue you swimming, you actually need to stay within a certain distance of him, otherwise he'll kind of get stuck and just shoot at nothing. So making sure he's swum far enough and you've stayed close enough, immediately start swimming towards your camera. I like to turn the camera around so I can actually see what I'm doing, as if you accidentally hit one of the ground platforms that are floating around the kingdom, you'll kind of get stuck as the Gushin has this weird hitbox, I guess, and he'll catch up to you and ruin the whole cycle. While swimming towards the hill in the distance, you'll notice that the camera keeps getting nudged towards the Octoboy one way or the other. If you just nudge the camera back with the camera analog stick to the destination of your choice, it should stay on course long enough for you to line up your next movement. Once you've made it to about this area, line yourself up with the air bubbles underneath the water. Turn your camera to look at the Octoboy and swim up, making sure to conserve as much water as possible if he's still a distance away from you. Attack him and halfway through he should move away from you, usually towards towards the right, that's normal. Quickly swim towards his new position and attack him again. Once defeated, swim towards the body of water that should be behind you on top of the platform. Quickly drop in to refill your water supply and instantly swim up again. You should notice that the Octoboy has clipped through the hill. Swim out in front of him, damage him so he stops moving, exit the gushin and ground pound his head. You've now defeated Octoboy in the fastest known way possible. As long as you have got all the cycles as soon as possible, otherwise he'll have one more cycle and you'll have no idea what's going on. Have fun! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was at least helpful towards you in your world peace endeavor. I know this was a big pain in the butt for me to learn, but once again, dangers and his almighty wisdom helped me with my annoying troubles of getting our good friend Octoboy to actually move away from the lighthouse. So once again, thanks homie. And yeah, boys, I hope this knowledge is helpful in your quest to bot me out of top 10. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.